Hey everyone, Fire here, and today I'm going to teach you how to calculate your true explosive arrow DPS. So earlier today, I got a message. Now in hindsight, the smart thing to do at this point would have been to just ignore it for a little while. You see, I was in the middle of a workday, and I wasn't expecting this to take six hours. But who can ignore this adorable face? Like, come on. I opened the message up to find Pal asking for a short POB review. He believes that he's inflated his POB's DPS and he wants a little help. Unfortunately, when I opened the POB, I was greeted with this. It was at this point I realized I needed to wrap up my workday early and solve the fuse count debate once and for all. Pal messaged me around midday and it's now 7 o'clock. But I have something really cool to show for my time. Because now, thanks to this new calculator, all we need to do is highlight these two cells, press Ctrl C to copy, Open up your POB, go to the configs, go to custom modifiers, and simply control V the copied text into this box. Congratulations, because you now have 99% accurate DPS, something that's never really been achieved before for this skill. In fact, as it turns out, rather than having 6 million DPS, Palsaron actually only had 4.3 million. If you want to use this calculator for yourself, there are a few things you need to know. To begin with, make a copy of the spreadsheet I'm going to provide in the description of this video. Next, you want to make sure that your configs in POB are set to the exact settings shown on the screen right now. Make sure your explosive arrow skill is set to one fuse explosion only, and also make sure that convergence is unticked because we're going to cover the multiplier for that later. All that's left to do now is enter these four stats into the calculator. I'm aware that some of you may not know where to find these. Your attack rate can simply be found here. Your totem count will need to be worked out manually. Generally, this build is played with six ballistas. You can find one up here from Ancestral Bond, you can find another one down here from Panopticon, and you can find the third bonus ballista from Watchtowers. This makes six all up with the three that you get as a baseline with the ballista support gem. Also keep in mind that the Skirmish Quiver adds a seventh ballista, and if you aren't running all of these nodes shown on the tree, you may want to subtract one for each notable that you're missing. In order to find the fuse duration and the ignite duration, you're going to need to go to the calcs section. So click on this tab here, and then scroll down to the skill type specific stats. Here you have skill duration, and this is going to be usually around one second long, depending on how much increased or reduced duration you have. This is your fuse duration. Finally, right next to that box is the ignite box, and right at the bottom you can find ignite duration, plain as day, and you're usually going to have an ignite duration of around three seconds. So we'll just pop these right into the calculator. And now we have fully updated values down here. Some of you are probably asking yourselves, what took six hours about this? This is not very much different from how we already calculate explosive arrow DPS. The main thing that's different about this calculator compared to the calculators that came out in 3.17 is that this one is able to actually scale your ignite duration and give you an idea of how important your ignite duration is and how much it's contributing to your DPS. It scales up the convergence uptime based on a number of factors which we're going to go through, and more importantly, it gives you a much more accurate fuse count. In the past, we were only able to calculate our fuse count by multiplying our attack rate by our totem count by our fuse duration. Now we're actually able to go into a whole new program process and simulate pretty accurately how many fuses are going to be on a target at any given time based on our ignite duration. Something that many people forget is that ignite only counts the strongest ignite on a target. That means that when you have higher fuse count ignites going off on a target and burning for three seconds, even when your explosive arrow then proceeds to explode on a lower fuse count, that ignite is just going to get overridden by the higher count one. This is what's always made it very hard to calculate true explosive arrow DPS because we've never really had an idea of how ignite duration scales with this number. First things first, we needed to get some RNG going that would help us accurately simulate how many fuses are going to be exploding on a target at any given time. To accomplish this, we had to determine how often our ballistas were going to be applying the maximum amount of fuses and how often they were going to be applying the minimum amount. The way we do this is by taking the fuse duration, dividing it by the attack interval of each individual ballista, and then we subtract the minimum amount of fuses. And this gives us a fraction that represents how often the max amount of fuses are going to be being applied. We're then going to tell the spreadsheet to generate a random number between 1 and 100, and as long as it generates a number between 1 and 31, it then counts as having generated three fuses on that totem. Everything else generates two fuses. Now, as you can see here, while this spreadsheet is frozen for the sake of doing the calculations on the other page, I've left this example open to show you how this operates. So every time you paste an empty cell or make any change to the spreadsheet whatsoever, it will redo the random number generation and it will recalculate how many fuses are being applied overall. So we just keep pasting and it will keep 
producing RNG. And this will keep changing this number down here, which tells us how many fuses are being applied within that fuse interval. So at the moment it's 14, I try again, it's 14, I try again, it's 15 this time, but the time after that, it's 13. Now over here are a bunch of messy, messy calculations, but the gist of what you're seeing here is that I've plotted out all of the results of the RNG from further below in the spreadsheet. So this is listing that your totems have basically applied 14 fuses on this go, 14 fuses on the next, 12 on the time after that, 14 on the time after that, so on, so forth. It is important to note that theoretically, this is not at all how fuses are applied. But we have to keep in mind that practically you're going to be summoning your towers down at a stagger. Sometimes bosses move out of range of the back totem or two, so all sorts of things result in a fluctuation of your fuses. And while these calculations don't account for the downtime that your ballistas may face in practical situations, they do represent the kind of inconsistency that your ballistas are going to be experiencing. The main point of this table is to weigh up your ignite duration against your fuse duration. Following on from the example of Palstron's POB, we end up with a fuse duration of 1.155 and an ignite duration of 3.12. So this means that we have roughly 2.7 fuses detonating within the duration of an ignite. This means we're going to use the three column. So typically you want to round up and then the way this works in particular is that this number is going to check for the max fuse duration ignite from the last three fuses. And you can go all the way down this column and you'll see that at any given moment it's always calculating only the strongest ignite up here we have a couple of green bars these green bars are calculating the average fuse count of the ignites that have been running on a boss for the last few minutes of course your ignite durations aren't always going to be these neat and convenient multiples of your fuse durations and that's what this top green row is for. It's for calculating the difference between each interval so that you can calculate that last interval that was only a fraction. In this instance, the last fuse interval was only around 70% the duration of a normal interval. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the difference between the third and the second interval, that being 0.2, we're going to multiply it by around 70%, and then we're going to add these two numbers to end up with our final fuse count. There are still, however, a few things left to explain about this calculator. I'll start with the fuse multi-calculations. See, we were already making these calculations in 3.17. Today I realize that POB is already adding 5% more ailment damage onto the one fuse explosion, something that none of us really considered when we put these calculators together last patch. Next up is the need for an attack speed correction. 56% less attack speed may seem pretty daunting at first, but it's actually quite harmless. This won't actually lower your DPS by too much, but the reason we have to input this into the POB is because POB last patch started calculating ailment damage in a new way. POB now tries to figure out how many stacks of an ailment you are going to be applying to a target based on your hit rate. For Bleed and Ignite, this is actually a really good thing. If you have 100 stacks of Ignite on a target, you almost certainly have an Ignite ticking within the max damage roll range. On the other hand, if you only have one Ignite on a target at a given time, you are going to have the average amount of damage when taking into consideration your roll range. Unfortunately, when it comes to Explosive Arrow, POB is not calculating this based on our Fuse Explosion Rate, it's basing it off the attack rate of a single totem. This calculation here is simply fixing that mistake. It's telling POB that it needs to calculate your hit rate based off your Fuse Explosion Rate and not your totem hit rate. Finally, we need to talk about the uptime of Convergence. The way we're calculating convergence uptime here is we are assuming that for the first little window of convergence, you don't have a fuse yet exploded. You've come up to a boss or a rare target and you've begun generating fuses on the target and this means that your fuse duration has started. However, convergence starts before that first fuse goes off, so you're losing 1.15 seconds before anything happens. However, rather than just being lazy and calculating only the duration of all the fuses that go off during the 4 second window of convergence, I'm instead replacing the final fuse duration with ignite duration instead. Convergence snapshots, which means that when you do a big ignite with your final fuse explosion of a convergence window, that's going to carry over even after convergence is off. This calculation is the second way in which we can now calculate our DPS more accurately based on our ignite duration, which was not something we were previously able to do. For those of you playing the Elementalist POB, you still want to copy and paste these two cells. However, if you are playing an Elementalist without Convergence, or you're playing the Champion or Hierophant versions of Explosive Arrow Ballistas, you want to instead copy and paste this cell here. Unfortunately, because I became wrapped up in this and lost 6 hours of my day, my leak starter review is not going to be out today. But it is half recorded and partially edited, so it will be coming out tomorrow, and it's going to include around 10 builds at this point. 
So if you aren't sure what to play yet, definitely stay tuned for that. That's going to be really helpful for deciding what to play next league. If you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.